Welcome to Power Surge. In this video, we'll look at a secret purge technique that enables you to purge by category. In the second part of this video, I'll show you how to safeguard your content from being purged prematurely. On screen, some families are visible. Starting here with this family, where both of its types have been used. Next, there is a door family where only one of several types have been used. And the same is true for this bread shelf where one of two types was used. Furthermore, I have a group of redundant families in the project that I would like to remove. So I can simply delete these. All loaded families are visible here in the browser. And it's possible to delete families from a project from here. The problem with this approach is that there is no indication that these families have been used until you select them. Most Revit users know about the purge function, but I'd like to share a hidden feature. By default, the purge command selects all families that have not been used. But there are some quirks to this. Notice here that the family name is greyed out somewhat. This means that the family is partially used, meaning that the family contains multiple types and not all of these types have been used in the project. This means that the purge tool will not delete the family, but rather delete any of the unused types. This can be annoying because there are always elements that are not used yet. That means that a generic application of the purged unused on everything will eliminate things that we need, we just haven't needed them yet. So wouldn't it be nice to purge by category? Well, it turns out that you can. Follow along with me. Start by selecting Check None. This will clear the selection plate. I don't want to purge the doors category, so I can simply collapse this using the minus key on the numlock keypad. I do the same for the furniture category. Now I select all visible families and types. Start by selecting the very top of the list and then while holding shift select the very last entry in the list. Notice the number of selected items has reduced from 67 at the beginning of this video to just 21 now. And to confirm, I'll just expand the closed categories and reveal that no elements are checked here. Then click OK to proceed. Now it's time for tip number two. As I mentioned in tip one, templates and projects are usually filled with things that we don't need yet. So in this example, the families that I don't need yet, but that I also don't want to be purged, are grouped and highlighted in blue. Now, as I said, I don't need these added to the project right now, but I can't delete them because if I do, they will be purged. So I need to find a way of locking these, putting them in a safe box, if you like. I can do this a number of ways, but if you pay close attention, you'll notice the order disk gives us a hint. Work sets. So the families are grouped, and then I enclose that group in a special work set called do not purge, or something like that. From here, I can simply focus on managing the work set's visibility instead of having to manage each of the families. Firstly, I set the work set's global visibility to off, and then in a special audit view, I do the reverse so that I can see the content at any point in time. Using the work sets display, I can color code this, making it super easy to distinguish these families from others in the project. Now using this method, the families are considered as used. And because of this, they'll be included in the quantities schedule. 
but I don't actually want this to happen because it's not a true reflection of what should be happening in the model right now. The trick here is that when work sets are enabled, you can actually use them as a filter in schedules. This means that I can simply filter these families out. And the total number of visible families has been reduced to 9. This includes nested families also, so the 9 are made up of And finally, to confirm that this workflow has worked, we'll go to Perch Unused. And you will notice there is nothing to perch, but we've locked away a certain quantity of families in a safe box for future use. That's the end of the video. I hope that you learned something new and that you found it interesting. 